Speaker, uh, in the gracious speech by Her Majesty last week, uh, the Government committed to legislating to implement the Stormont House Agreement, and as he knows, that agreement has our full support in the DUP. Yeah. It is an agreement that was signed up, up to by all the five main parties in Northern Ireland and the British and Irish governments. Now that it has been reneged on, certainly the welfare reform aspect by Sinn Féin, now that vulnerable people are being hurt, public services hit as a result of £2 million a week fines being implemented and a black hole in the Northern Ireland budget, does he agree with his Secretary of State, following the talks yesterday, that the, all the parties who signed up to that agreement, SDLP and Sinn Féin included, should now implement it? And if they fail to do so, will he take steps to preserve the integrity of that agreement? Well, well, first of all, let me agree with the uh, right honourable gentleman that everyone who was party to those talks, and they were exhaustive and lengthy talks ending in an agreement, everyone should implement that agreement in full. And that agreement did include uh, welfare reform. That is the first point, and he's absolutely right. Look, whatever happens, we need to make sure that Northern Ireland and the Assembly has a sustainable and deliverable budget. And so I hope that even at this late stage, people can look at what they can do to make sure that happens. Yeah, yeah. Jeremy.